Okay, YouTubers. Time for a fuel pump swap. Everything I've tried to do with this thing to tune it, it keeps... Um, like, I'm using 80% injector duty cycle, which should be enough for, like, a 1,000 horsepower with those injectors. And the car is still lean on just 6 pounds of boost. So, um, I have bought a new fuel pump. This is the old one, which is a air motive pump but when i call it air motive at the pressure i'm running at it's probably only good to five or six hundred horsepower so it makes sense that we're running out of fuel uh at six pounds of boost this thing ought to be making like 700 horsepower so i bought and i don't know anything about them but i bought a aem 400 liter per hour inline fuel pump and it's based off of a bosch 044 pump but it just flows more. And I didn't look up the specs on a Bosch 044, so I don't know how much better. But this is enough pump uh, to make like 900 horsepower at the crank uh, on gasoline with a turbo car. So uh, it flows 400 liters per hour at 40 PSI, which is uh, basically the same as what a uh, Walbro 450 flows. Because uh, I think a Walbro 450 is rated at free flow, like no fuel pressure. This is 400 liters per hour at 40 psi, so I should be able to get around the 900 at the at the crank. Uh, we'll see if this was my issue. Uh, it's possible there's another issue, but I'm I'm hoping this is it. Uh, so I ordered the fittings because it has funky fittings, like 18 millimeter by 1.5 on the inlet, 12 millimeter by 1.5 on the outlet. So I ordered fittings for a Bosch 044 pump off eBay, a uh, Dash 8 inlet and a Dash 6 outlet because that's what fuel line I have. And uh, we'll put that on there and if, you know, if we ever run out, I can run two of these pumps and that's enough to make, if you run them uh, where you have one pump side by side and then they Y fitting into a single line, then it'll be enough to uh, flow 1800 horsepower, which at that point, I would probably have to go to like a number eight fuel line instead of a number six, I would think. But, um, yeah, I, I try going up with the fuel pressure, down with the fuel pressure. Um, I boost reference the regulator. Uh, I did a lot of different things with the tune up, trying to see what it was. And, and you know, the thing's lean, and I'm basically using 80% of my injector, and the car's lean, which makes no sense. So I'm thinking it's just running out of fuel pump so uh that's what we're going to try and see so i'm going to probably sell this pump to somebody else because it works great like you know an all motor situation but um just not being a pump for what i need um so that's what i'm waiting on now i did uh switch the back wheels and tires on the wagon because daily driving it i was uh well mainly burnouts i was wearing back tires out and i had the tire wear out to the cord so uh, this, some of you might can tell, it's a 8-inch wheel instead of a 7. This is the wheels I have my slicks on. So this is a custom offset wheel Ventiques wheel. It's a 15 by 8 OE Ford style wheel. And uh, it's custom offset all to the inside. So I can't remember, but it's like 6 inches of back spacing and 2 inches of front spacing or something close. Whatever the maximum offset is, is what this is. Because this has a 9-inch out of a... Um, a 69 cyclone so this rear end is three inches wider than a stock 7.5 that came in this car and i got a set of 255 60 r15 rear tires for it so they're like 20 27 by 10 on eight inch rim so i really like how they look <laughs> they're not the same tire i got this one at coker tires blemish sale and i got the other one off of ebay and one of them's a pet boys tire and one was a bf goodrich but uh I think it should get better traction on these. Um, they're quite a bit wider. I only had a 235.75, so it was a really narrow tire before. So, uh, but yeah, this thing's doing great. Running on E85, it smells better. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, there you go. There's an update on my fuel issues with the uh, Starlet and uh, my swapping tires on the uh, wagon. Got the hood on here and lined up now. Uh, pretty good. So 
I didn't really know about this pump. Um, I was just looking on Summit Racing and I found that it was the cheapest pump that would do what I needed it to do. Uh, I looked at the Holly pumps that have the twin fuel pumps inside each other. It's like a, I think it's like a 12 1800. It was like an 1800 horsepower Holly pump. And I read the notes and it said that it's not intended for a big run more than 20 minutes at a time. So I was like, well, I think it'll help me. So we'll, uh, we'll wait for those fittings to come in and see if that fixed it. I'm not going to touch the tune up. I have a data log from it from, uh, yesterday, um, run it through first and second gear and we'll see, uh, we'll see just by changing the pump if that changes the tune up drastically. Hopefully it'll be pig rich now. So that's the, that's the hope. Anyway, there you go.